Hi Angels and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hello, welcome, my name's Amy and thank you for finding your way to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be recreating this look here which I just wanted to practice on my eye first. This is actually inspired by, um, on Instagram, it's a makeup artist, he's called Star by Abraham and his work is just amazing so i really really wanted to recreate one of his looks for valentine's i feel like this is like a perfect valentine's look maybe you wouldn't want to add the glitter on because i feel like that could be a little more instagrammy um but i absolutely love this look i think it is so so pretty and it's like completely um shimmery which is not something that I really do and I'm living for it. I feel like I'm going to be doing a like all shimmery gold eye as well because I absolutely love the look of those. As you can see it's like a smoky winged out pink vibe and it's got a really really smoked out liner and a really fluffy lash and a little bit of glitter. So I'm not going to do my eyebrows first. I feel like all these looks are more like a fluffy brow. I did actually try and do a fluffy brow on this eye. But for some reason my eyebrow hairs just won't stand up. Like no matter how much I try to make them. And I didn't even fill it in. I like filled it in after. Okay so the first thing we're going to be doing is taking the concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. And because I'm doing the winged look. And then I'm just going to carve out underneath my eyebrow. As if I'd already done my eyebrow. But not doing my eyebrow. If that makes sense. Okay. So for this look I'm going to be using a mixture of palettes. Just because there wasn't a palette that had everything that I wanted. So to start with I'm going to be using my Stacey Marie palette. And I'm going in with this shade Wifey. Very convenient for New Year's, uh, for New Year's Eve. Oh my god. Um, for Valentine's and I'm just going to take this on a really fluffy brush and just buff this into my crease and pull it out to the edge. I am not going to use too much of this product. I really just want this as like a base. Okay, so once you have just like blended that on the eye, I wanted to take it up quite high and I just wanted like a really light base layer. I know it's a little bit patchy, but that doesn't really matter. It's just a base layer for the shimmery ones to go on top because otherwise they wouldn't really have shown. So I'm then going to go ahead and cut the crease and I'm going to really do this lightly, not using a lot of product at all. And I'm just going to pat that out so it's really blended so then the color that i'm going to place on top of that is from my urban decay hd vice 2 palette i know i'm putting some old ones out the bag but you know um, and i'm going to be using this shade here which is a pale pink and it's called x rated obviously you don't have to use these palettes you can just use shades that are the same color or similar i'm just going to take this on a fluffy like flat quite dense brush and just pat this over that cut crease a cute combo very barbie vibes so then moving on to our third palette i'm going to be using my urban decay moon dust palette and i'm going to be using these two shades here and i'm going to take this one this shade here and then this one after so picking up that shade Spectre, which is the light one I'm going to take again a fluffy brush I'm going to take again a fluffy brush but actually I'm going to spray this with a little bit of setting spray just so that it picks up those pigments a little bit more and I'm going to start to buff this over that pink and also like up quite high into my eyebrow not into my eyebrow into my like eyebrow bone I'm just starting to like pat it on to start with and then I can like buff once it's like on there a little bit more. So the cut crease isn't going to be too visible like but it just needed to be there. Just for that tiny faint line that you get. It just needed that. Honestly I actually love this. Okay so now I'm going to go in that darker shade and just use this to deepen up the outer edge and i'm going to be using again a fluffy brush this shade's a little bit more pigmented so we don't actually need to spray the fix plus 
And you want to make sure when you're using this shimmery shade to make sure you go quite up high over your eyebrow bone because otherwise it will look like there's just like nothing there and it looks a little bit weird. I keep hearing... I don't know if that picked up on camera, but I keep hearing things. My laptop just slid off my bed and now I just hear like rustling. Okay, next up we're going in with my Dull Beauty highlighter and I'm taking the lighter shade from the Duo palette and I'm going to place this under my brow bone and then I'm also going to just like apply it onto my eye just to make it a little bit more like bam, you know. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Smoky Liner. So for this, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Glide On 24 Hour Pencil and when this is like glide on, this glides on. This is so good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take this across my water my waterline, my eyelid. It is a little bit harder to draw a line with a like pencil, but you're obviously gonna smoke it anyway. So this is the final palette that I'm using, I swear. I'm just gonna dip into the black in my um, Too Faced Semi Sweet palette because it's really black and that's what I need right now. And we're gonna use like a really dense pencil brush just to push this into the liner and blend it out. And this is why we needed to do our eyes before our face. Okay, so to finish off the eye before I add on the glitter, I'm just going to go in with my Gatsby pigment. And I'm going to pick this up on my finger, like the tiniest bit. If I can stick my finger in the little pot. Like literally just the tiniest bit. And I just want to like dab this over just carefully just to give it an extra like shine so i'm then gonna add my glitter and i'm just using this one which is like pink oh i knew that was gonna happen which is just like pinks is that gonna focus are you gonna focus wow no and i'm just gonna keep pouring it out and i'm just picking them up with just like a flat brush and i'm just gonna dab them on and if you get too many you can just flick them off so like i don't want this one so i think that's enough and I'm now going to go ahead and apply my lashes, which is my Tatty Lashes in TL Mitchell. These are unreal. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so while we're waiting for our eyelash to dry, I'm going to do my brow. So, I have got nothing on it at the moment. I'm just going to brush all the hairs upwards because I want to try and get a fluffy look. But I feel like every time I do a fluffy look, it's just not working. But we're going to just take our clear brow gel and brush all the hairs upward. Genuinely feel like I need something stronger for my brows. Like they literally, I just wanna go normal, honestly. Mine just aren't working. So I'm then gonna go in with that lightest pink shade from the same brush and just dust that under my eye. And then the shade that had the darker pink on, again, just that under my eye. And then finally, I'm going to add a tiny bit of liner to my waterline. Okay, so moving on to the skin, I'm going to start with applying my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This is such a beautiful base for makeup. Also, the Youth Glow is really, really nice as well. So I'm just going to apply this all over the face. I want it to be quite dewy and glowy, I think. Could all change. We have to excuse my skin. It's so bad. Ew. So bad. I'm also going to apply some of my Iconic London Illuminator Drop. Okay, so my camera kindly cut out. So I'm looking like the Tin Man, but it's okay because I want to be really, really dewy for this. So I'm going to be wearing my Etouche Clay um, foundation and I'm just going to apply this with a damp beauty blender. And I'm actually going to just take the beauty blender straight into the foundation and straight onto the skin. Again, just make sure you're careful around your eyeshadow as you don't want to ruin it. 
so i've still kept a lot of the dewiness which is what i wanted love that okay so for concealer i'm gonna go in with my laura mercia my laura mercia concealer and we're gonna use a brush to buff this into where the eyeshadow is as we do not want to ruin it so don't take it up too high as you want to allow space for like buffing so i'm just buffing the majority of that and then we're gonna blend it with a brush because like i said we don't want to like get a harsh line on the concealer i love how dewy i'm still looking so i'm now gonna highlight my inner corner just because i feel like i keep staring at it and it's not done so if i do it now it will make me feel better and i'm just using my dull beauty so i'm not going to be setting under my eyes like how i usually would with loose powder i'm just going to take my flawless oh my god there's another hair on me where do they all keep coming from very irritating all right so i'm just going to set slightly under my eye just with my laura mercier powder and i'm then going to take my flawless my what is it actually called airbrush blue flawless bleh. Airbrush Flawless Finish and just dust that off with a little bit of that. And I kind of buff this over the rest of my face as well. But not actually picking up anymore. Hello, we haven't had one of those in a while, have we? Wow. I remember they used to come out every video. Wow. So because we're going for a dewy look, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is just going to set the rest of my face. But it's also got beautiful like pigments in it that the light just like bounces off of. And it will add to the dewy -ness. It's just a really, really beautiful powder. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer. And we just use my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. And I'm just going to like push this into the cheek. I'm actually loving this like glowy skin. I feel like I'm not looking bronzy in the camera. But I like can't add any more bronzer. I'll look... Terrific. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlight and I'm going to just obviously use my Doll Beauty again. And I'm just going to dust that over my cheekbone. And lastly, apply blusher. I love having really like blushed cheeks. I think it looks so cute. Okay, so finally the last thing to do is lipstick. So for my lips, I want to keep it quite plain and nude. I'm literally just going to line it with my strip down from MAC as this is like the perfect nude. And then I'm going to go in with my nude cape from Charlotte Tilbury. Make sure that's all blended again with my liner. And then I'm going to apply my fave NARS gloss. This is the lip vinyl. So glossy. If anything is it really leak. And it's got like little glitter, like pigments in it. So it really just makes your lips look so, so glossy. Like literally like glass. Okay, so this is my finished makeup look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if anyone does recreate, then as always, please, please tag me. I would love to see your recreations. I feel like this is probably going to be my... My... Halloween oh my god what is wrong with me my valentine's look I absolutely love it I love that it's like all shimmery and I love the dewy skin and I just love everything about it honestly I'm really really happy with how this turned out I feel like it's not picking up as much on camera as it is in person which is annoying but it is what it is I hope it's like um what's that word like coming across how it is if that makes sense anyway i hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please give it a massive thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me and thank you so 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 much for watching i honestly i love you all so so much and i will see you in my next one bye guys